Have you ever sensed a presence, like ghosts or spirits trying to communicate with you? It's a curious feeling, as if something from another world is reaching out to us. But what if this isn't just in our minds? What if there's a reality beyond our immediate senses, trying to make contact? Think about dimensions as different ways we can move around. It all starts with zero dimension. It is just a point, and it doesn't go anywhere. First, dimension. It's like a toy plane on a track, only able to go one way or the other, straight ahead or straight back. No lifting off, no dipping down, just zooming along a line. Second, dimension. Now imagine that a toy plane can suddenly go up into the air and back down, making loops like drawing circles with a pen in the air. It's still on the flat surface, but can make flat shapes like rings and squares as it flies. Third dimension. Picture. The toy plane lifting off the table into the air, where it can fly anywhere. It can soar up high, swoop down low, or curve left and right. It's like the plane has the whole room to zoom around, not just the table. That's flying in all directions in the air, just like a real plane. We're used to moving in three dimensions every day, but what if there are more ways to move that we can't see? That's what some scientists are trying to figure out. Let's simplify. Imagine everything in the universe is made up of tiny wiggly bits called strings. These strings are super small, way smaller than anything we can see, and even smaller than atoms. Now these strings don't just wiggle in any old way, they wiggle in special patterns that need 10 different ways to move, which we call dimensions. This wiggling decides what kind of stuff everything is made of and how it all behaves. String theory is like a detective game where scientists are trying to solve the mystery of how everything in the universe fits together. It's like they're looking for a secret code that explains everything around us and stuff we can't even see. It's a tough puzzle, and even the brainiest scientists are still scratching their heads over it. Basically, string theory is about uncovering the universe's hidden dance moves. The fourth dimension is a bit tricky because we can't see it in our 3D world, but let's use our imagination. Think of a toy plane that can not only fly anywhere in a room, but also travel through time. So, in the fourth dimension, this toy plane could fly to yesterday, zoom back to today, or even dart into tomorrow. It's like having a magic remote that lets the plane rewind, pause, or fast forward through time while it's flying around the room. That's the fourth dimension, a journey through time and space. These dimensions are like secret levels in a video game. The fourth level helps us understand why things happen. But guess what? There might be even more secret levels out there. Scientists are like gamers, trying to unlock a superpower remote that can pause or rewind time. Isn't that exciting? Let's imagine the fifth dimension as a super cool adventure for a toy plane. This isn't just any plane, it's a magic one that can zip through different worlds. In one place, it's zooming in the rain, and in another, it's gliding under bright sunshine. Today, the plane might be red, but tomorrow, it could turn blue. It's like having a whole fleet of planes from all sorts of universes, and our magic plane can hop between them, trying out every wild and wonderful possibility. That's the fifth dimension for you. A thrilling ride through a bunch of different realities. Now imagine that toy plane can fly to any world you can think of. It can be any color, made of anything, and even follow new rules of flying. This toy plane is not just playing in our world. It's zooming through a place where anything you dream up is possible. That's the magic of the sixth dimension, a universe of endless adventures for the toy plane. In seventh dimension, this magic toy airplane can now go to places 
where everything about flying might be different. It could be a world where airplanes swim instead of fly, or where they're as big as stars. The toy airplane can explore all these incredible places where the rules we know don't apply. So in the seventh dimension, our toy airplane isn't just flying. It's having adventures in all kinds of different and wonderful worlds, some of which we can hardly imagine. Certainly. Let's take our magical toy airplane adventure into the eighth dimension with an easy to understand example. In this special place, our toy airplane can visit many universes, each with its own version of the seventh dimension. Imagine it like a library of books, each with a different adventure for our toy plane. For example, in one universe, the toy plane swims in the sky like a fish, and in another, it's as big as a star flying in space. Now, in the eighth dimension, it can switch between these stories, living different adventures in each. So in this eighth dimension, our toy airplane isn't just having fun. It's creating its own path through endless possibilities. It's the ultimate freedom for a toy airplane to be the hero of its own adventure in any way it imagines. Absolutely, let's continue the journey of our magical toy airplane into the ninth and tenth dimensions. Here, our toy airplane can explore all the possible histories and futures of each universe it encountered in the eighth dimension. It's like having a remote control with buttons for every possible timeline of every story. The airplane can press a button and experience a world where it decided to fly left instead of right at the start, or where it chose to be a submarine instead of an airplane. In the ninth dimension, the toy airplane can see how each choice it makes can lead to a different adventure. It's like being the author of its own book series, deciding what happens in every edition. This is the ultimate dimension for our toy airplane. In the 10th dimension, it has access to every possible point of every possible universe that could ever exist. It's like having a map of all the libraries in the world, each with its own collection of books about the toy airplane's adventures. In the 10th dimension, our toy airplane isn't just choosing its story, it's choosing its reality. It's the ultimate expression of freedom and imagination for our magical toy airplane. It's a lot to take in, and right now, nobody can actually go to these places. It's all just big brain ideas that scientists have thought up. Imagine standing in space and seeing all 10 dimensions, each with its own rules and infinite possibilities, including multiple timelines and universes. It's mind boggling to think about having so much control over time and existence. Yet we can't access these dimensions yet. Even though the laws of physics and math seem to fit perfectly in them, our brains can't fully grasp beyond 3D. So who made these wild dimensions? Maybe someone out there or something bigger than us. The 10th dimension might be out of reach, but hey, we're on a cosmic treasure hunt and every clue we find is a step closer to the big picture. Keep your eyes on the stars and let's uncover the universe's secrets together. Let's meet again. Beyond another veil at same place, another time, maybe with another you.